Hello, everyone, and welcome to another exciting match in our Zelda 2 Max Rando Tournament. I am your restreamer, Jinxie Girl, joined by Melee Wizard and Nightcrawler. I also have Siberian on trackers with me today. Um, looks like we are starting with the glove, the flute, and the... Uh, I'm going to pass it off to our commentators because I forgot to start the race. So there's that. Take it away, guys. Hello, hello. I did not look to see what records our two runners have, but this should be uh, an exciting race, as Max Rando tends to be. Uh, I am yeah. Melee Wizard alongside uh, Nightcrawler. How are you doing today? Uh, I'm embarrassed because apparently my computer sounds like something uh, awful right now, and uh, that fixes itself. It's just... Uh, Normally, it takes my computer a, a bit to warm up, so there's going to be a little bit of background noise. Uh, it's just my CPU fan. No no strange thoughts. Yeah, so I I scouted out this seed ahead of time so just to see kind of what we have to work with. So this is a four-gem seed with the glove, the flute, and I do believe our runners have both up stab, uh, up thrust and down stab. So that should be, that's a pretty good start, I'll be told. Yeah, the glove, um, up stab, down stab, they can, they can go where they want pretty much right now. I mean, I guess they could use like fairy or, or the magic key or something. Yeah, but... unfortunately, they only have the shield spell, but it is a spell out of Ruto. So that is one less item that they have to worry about. Right. And uh, sorry, how many gems is this? Uh, four. Oh, yeah, easy peasy. Yeah, it's a pretty healthy seed, starting with seven heart containers already. Not to mention having shield right off the bat. Oh, my. But... Well, listen, some of these encounters are kind of mean, already seeing Dyra's of, on, uh, of both types already. Oh, Dyra's are good for experience, though. If Assuming you survive long enough to kill one. <laughs> and our first palace sighting on Jackimus' side, it's uh it's one of the three six. Which once they find a fairy or a magic key, I mean nothing's stopping well uh yeah. I guess they could need fairy in six. Yeah. But a couple things that are of importance, like where is where is the raft? Potentially boots, potentially hammer. Oh, we got uh, trophy cave here. No, I, that was the back end of jump cave. It looks like. Oh, my uh, stream was kind of pausing and buff. Well, yeah, I saw I saw that that first screen was enough to tell me. There's the there's trophy. trophy See, cave. I told you. Uh, that was a different, <laughs> it was a different game. What's more well, like well, that there's I the raft in the future, or that I saw the actual cave? <laughs> yeah, Jackamus' stream is a little, little back and forth now, and my computer is almost done with whatever, with its fan thing. It looks All like right. Flesh is going in and out of the mysterious 3 6 getting looking for some experience here. And looks like Jackham has found the magic container cave. Yep, and glitched the uh, screen a little bit. Uh, there's you know, lovely Dyra's in short confines. That's always lovely. Oh, I couldn't see what he, what he picked up because uh, the screen is uh, a little bit wonky for me right now. Flesh is fine, though. Are you having any uh, problems? My end hasn't even gotten there yet. Oh, uh, yeah, and I and I missed it, too. We'll have to well, see Flesh... what that is when either we see a pause screen or whenever Flesh finds Yeah, Jackamus is also in Peabag Cave right now. So he's just getting item after item out of these caves. Uh, meanwhile, Flesh is trying to get some experience. Uh, yeah, you can definitely do that. 
150 for each red dire, uh, red iron knuckle, no problem. Uh, well, he got the item, whatever it was. Yeah, you, I think you're ahead of me. Uh, it, it was a pee bag. I thought I saw that. Uh, now flesh is head that without keys or fairy, there isn't much for much in logic regarding the palaces. If I, if, am I correct on that? Right. Uh, you're not forced into a palace until you get a fairy or a key. Even if, like, the first room uh, leads off to the item room and there's, like, a key, like, right. very accessible. But given that we have and... random palace layouts, you never know. Yeah, I mean, that could happen, but... There will always be fairy available before that, or magic key available before that, or whatever. I guess the the point I was going going towards was if you if you happen to find like say palace one or two before, then do you go for it? Um, one possibly if key drops, definitely with with the uh, with the power with the glove in hand. Yeah, I don't know because. With the way that they're laid out, I mean, they don't necessarily lay themselves out in a way that makes it even possible to get through them. So, even in P1, you know, you're going to be, you might have to dig through some rooms and you're still short a key. So, I probably would just wait until I got either a key drop, if there's key drops turned on, which I haven't seen uh, really many drops here. I saw a one up on Fle uh, drop on Flesh's side, so we at least have that. Right. And there's a bouncy cat here. Flesh. Ah, Flesh it's, it was the game. lost child in Magic Container Cave. Playing with the bouncy cats in the cave. That's good to have those spell items taken care of. Oh, yeah. They've got all but one of them now. But they they might still need magic containers to get those spells on Eastern Continent. Yeah. One half chance of that. So as far as spell items go, I probably would have rather find the uh, Water of Life first. Well, since yeah. we haven't even been to the East yet. Yeah, and it's nice not having to double dip Mido because if you come across Mido and you've got Fairy or or Jump, you're you're getting downstab. You're gonna yeah. go in there. Although even our runners have already have life. that, so that's. So the only reason to ah, go true. into Mido would be for the spell. Yeah, but it, we it, do have the hints on, so they would at least, at least be able to f to get a hint for where the Water of Life is. Yeah, that's true. I'd say if they come across Mido now, they should not even go inside, honestly. Because, you know... There's a very slim chance that it's going to be a spell that they need. They might not. Have, they might not even need thunder. True. And there's a one. In, there's a one in eight chance that it's got thunder. They don't need reflect. Technically, no, you're that correct. If since uh, if we only have four gems, four could easily be the ones that get skipped if need be. Right, and they have the flute, so they can access all the palaces. Yeah. Unless something really weird happens on Western, we're like three boulder block caves somehow block off like a palace which or or if it's weird. boots locked or something yeah yeah though we we still have only seen one palace so far yeah that's true and, uh, and three we see at least one boulder block so far uh, flash thinking he had uh, the boots for a second there not quite but he did find a certain someone who everyone should know you know who it is. It's Bagu. If you don't know him, I don't know what to say. You're just not cool anymore. Jackamus found... Jackamus is exploring is he Death, Death Mountain. Mountain? Like, yeah. And he, he found Hammer Cave. I have no idea what he got there, though. <laughs> oh, it was the magic key. Oh, that's great. Now he really can do palaces. Oh, yeah. Uh, if that is six, though, he might still be fairy blocked. 
Uh, but he could probably still get either the item or the boss. It's pretty unlikely that the fairy block will block. Yeah. Flesh, flesh finding Raururu. So actually, no, that's Ruto. Never mind. And knowing that he already got the spell out of here for free, just walks right back out. Right. Now, Flesh, uh, it seems, uh, either is just trying to test how much experience he's got to <laughs> Or he's not aware, uh, that if you run at these, uh, Geld Arms, and you jump slash them as you're falling down, uh, you can pass through them. Or it might be just like me and just... Kill kills. everything? Yeah, yeah <laughs> kill everything, yeah. I have that impulse as well. <laughs> Like, this guild arm looked at me the wrong way. Ten experience is not bad for a guild arm. I think we can roll 20, though. Uh, plus or minus two steps. Yeah, I think their vanilla is five, so yeah. Yeah, and Jacobus confirmed in three. And, uh... Oh, there he goes. Sort of. Uh, flesh... I was going to check out that grave tile, thought better of it. Uh, the best he can get out of there is like a, a 200 point pee bag out of one of the caves or something. Because he doesn't have fairy yet, so if there is a pass through there, he can't actually take advantage of it yet. Jacobus in the, uh, in the, one of the glove block rooms in three. Uh, this one you can go uh, two different ways depending on whether you have up stab or down stab, but he has both, so he can choose whichever he feels like. And I think one of the ways decision is decision by faster. Flesh. Flesh is actually going through the jump cave to see what's on the other side. Nice. If he hasn't seen the other entrance yet, it'll probably take him to the other side of, uh, of the, the Western Continent. Uh, usually the Western Continent is divided into two, sometimes three segments. Um, it just happens to work out that way. I think it's intentionally designed. Uh, I think the fact that the magic key was in Death Mountain, which is probably yeah, j the fact that Jackham has found it, is a big advantage to him, I think, because it might. A lot of runners are kind of loath to go into Death Mountain unless they absolutely have to, and that may <laughs> bite flesh in the butt here. <laughs> yeah, it might bite flesh in the butt. <laughs> oh, what's Jacobus going to find? I don't know. <laughs> he found something, though, and it wasn't a pea bag. Uh, wasn't a heart or a magic container. So it was an actual It was item. the candle. Oh, okay. So it sort of wasn't an actual item then. <laughs> flesh getting a 500-point a pea bag from the grass tile. A little disappointing, but uh, if he plays his cards right, he can level up his, his attack pretty soon. Or whatever's at 700, probably just magic. Notice he skipped the cave. Yeah, I saw that too. Although, considering we're still we're still missing three towns and two palaces, and there is Raru, so there's a free spell. Yeah, who knows? Maybe this is fairy. Maybe the game is giving you either either one before the palace. That would be great for him, because uh, if he is loath to go into Death Mountain like so many racers are, uh, it could be a very long time until he enters the palace. But he does have a raft, so he can always check the other the other uh, continent. So what do we have? It's the, oh, there's fairy. <laughs> and was it cheap? Was that twenty two? No, that three? was the shield cost. Uh, fairy was thirty nine, I believe. Okay, still doable. One casting. If he gets another magic container, he can do two. GP. Uh, well, there's GP. Can't do that. Nah, it's not something you want to find yet, but it's good information. You can try. Get electrocuted. Or whatever it's supposed to be that kills and you. And there's the third one, right there. And that is, well, there's six. six. Yeah. <laughs> and Good. he's going in. There's so many caves you can check, Flesh. So many caves. But 
then again, he might be like, I've got fairy, I've got uh, upstab, downstab, glove, I've got the flute. What else do I need? And then he decides to make better of it and heads out. <laughs> That's Rebanak down for Jackamas. First gem at 1350. Well, uh, 1401. And he burns the gem. What that mean? That's a expression in Zelda 2 Randomizer for uh, when you up an A wall, you're getting the experience, uh, and so you actually don't gain the experience that you normally would. Uh, so, yeah, I hope he's uh, comfortable uh, at low levels in GP because with only three gems to place, or was it, with only four gems to place, um, he's not going to go into GP with very high levels if he burns every gem. Uh, like, if you're if you're comfortable fighting Thunderbird with like four attack or less, more power to you. Yeah, and with the way he's leveling up, it probably will be attack four at this rate, unless he gets a lot of experience from something. Well, there's two towns right next to each other. One of them's got to be Nito. That means the other one's going to be the other end of Surya, which he could have he could have taken. Uh, Surya all the way through. Or has he seen Surya yet? I don't think we have. Yeah, realizes he hasn't actually... Oh, there we go. He realized that he doesn't actually sure. need... Uh, well, now we, uh, now we know P5 is worthless. Yep. That's a relief for Flesh, I'm sure. And you know, Jackamus going through Jump Cave, finding the spoils they're in so far. There's spoils in Jump Cave. The only way it spoils me is with being the longest passer cave in the game. <laughs> well, it spoils it's the, my the fun. spoils of, of having the rest of the towns and all the and the other palaces. All right, there you go. <laughs> and so the spell out of me out of here. It's the spell spell in out of Saria. Very low chance that's going to be required at this point. Yeah, but it's nice to have before you find New Kasudo. Right. It it mm, it could end up. I mean, one way that it could be required is if uh, you need boots to get anywhere significant on the eastern, and uh, there is new Kasudo before that. That could happen. I'd give that maybe like a five percent chance or lower, but still. Oh, did Jackamus? Oh, he just tried to turn in trophy, huh? Oh, wait. What do you mean? Because he went up to the old man, and I didn't see him actually getting a spell. Uh, that could have just been the whole internet connection thing. No, he just... He got the spell. Sorry, he never got the spell out of Rauru. Mm. Or, he never, or he's never saw Rauru yet, I guess. He, I guess he found these two towns first. Yeah, Ruto was the first town we saw, and they both walked in and out. Yeah. No one wants to live in downtown Hyrule anymore. Everyone's moving up. What's up with that? Just, you know, get like a public works project going or something. I don't know. And there's the raft spot as well. Hmm. If I were a betting man, I'd say there's something in this cove here. But it doesn't matter, because they basically have what they need to finish the game. Oh, wow! <laughs> I like There's this a little... Thing. right there, and it's... It five. is five. He's gonna avoid this like the plague. Yeah, I don't blame him, because we, we know there's no item, and five is not a nice place to go through. Checking the forest tile to see if this is new Pseudo. It's not, but he is gonna get a little, little digger out of it. It's nice to have the uh, water tile right here, because you don't forget where it is <laughs> when you oh, get yeah. boots. Kind of hard to miss that one. Mm -hmm. Ooh, and which finds game. one of the item caves that, in the east. Yep, there's only two here, but very often there's invisible moas in here, so if you're in yeah. here without, uh, that might be it. No, that was a coke. Yeah, but they're when you don't have a candle, they're invisible too. Yeah. 
What do we have? It is AP bag. At least it's a 500. And with the amount of frames that Jacobus has dropped, uh, he might be in a palace by now. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, it looks like he just discovered. He's just discovering it's five and is saying no. Oh, I don't even... He's still in Rauru for me. <laughs> oh, suddenly I'm ahead of you. Okay. Oh, were you talking about Flesh? No, I was talking about Jacobus. Oh, you've done the Easter now? Oh my gosh. Yep. <laughs> and that's well. Flesh finds another random 500p bag. Decides not to get attacked for... <laughs> Uh, yeah. yeah. Different people have different priorities, and that's the other item cave. Wow. Yeah. Finding both of them pretty quick. And it looks like Jacobus is in the same cave at the same time, too. Yeah, this is... This is a pretty generous eastern continent, because you basically don't have to look in caves anymore at this point. Yep. I mean, there might be a pastor that leads somewhere, but they only really need to knock out two two palaces on this continent. Eh, it's another 500-pointer. Well, they started with most of our containers, so I guess that's bound to happen, right? He's going to take a death here. Yeah, and there's no guarantee that that eighth heart container is e even exists in this scene. So, and all those extras put just turn into five into pee bags if memory serves. Yep, exactly. Uh, I guess this has to be P2 on Jackamus' side. Yeah, I see a jar frozen in midair on his screen. So, yeah, we are going five, in. So that has to be two. He's probably going in right now. Uh, yep. This is one of the easier palaces, and he does have glove, so he can't possibly get blocked. He has glove and key, so yeah, he's th this is pretty much free. Uh, Flesh just found Nukasudo, however, he doesn't have the hammer to get inside. Gonna pick up that key, because actually Flesh does not have the magic key yet. After all this time, that's gonna, yeah, that's gonna uh, cost him pretty. Yeah, well, it's a, just he has to dig it out of Death Mountain. He, he doesn't know that, but... He's never gonna go there. At this yeah, point, this yeah. It, it, it's a shame, but I, I understand it. Yeah, they're both in Palace 2 now. Uh, at least Flesh has Fairy, so he won't be immediately locked out, but he's pretty much... Ooh. At this point, it's what? One cast of Fairy per life? Barring jar drops. Yep. Uh, and that's an easy palace too for uh, Jackmus. So he's going to be turning in his gem sometime in the near future. I'm going to try to reset my, uh, my my browser again, because I think you're getting slightly better from Jackmus than I am. Uh, probably not. <laughs> Never mind that I won't. I think... I think... Helmet head's probably dead right now. Uh, wow. actually, Jackamus took a diff. Oh, that looks like a single attempt in, to me. Uh, and speaking of death, a flesh has to take a forced death here because he just does not have what he needs to uh, cast fairy more than once. That's the second gem for Jackamus, so I wonder if he's going to burn this seed too. Yep. Uh, sorry, burn this gem. He's going to be going into GP and really the item low. is the cross. Flesh might be enjoying that. Um, he is well, in Well, I mean, with, without the candle, it doesn't really do much good in the in the Valley of Death encounters, but yeah. True. It will help out in uh, GP a little bit, but I think the GP modes are actually weaker than the Overworld modes. I've never really paid enough attention to that. Yeah, they... they they are very rare in, in GP anyway. And there's the boots for Jackamus on the desert tile. Oh, I did not. Yeah. I just see him pause in front of a cactus right now. <laughs> and we got. Looks like we have a very short uh, Valley of Death here. Oh, and. With not uh, much for encounters either, and that's Palace 1. 
yeah, I think this is going to be an open and shut case for Jackamus. After this, he should probably up an A and go back to the Western continent. Uh, unless he wants to try to dig out P4, but he doesn't have Reflect, so... Uh, Flesh is going to have to take another Force Death. Um, he... Yeah, it just doesn't have enough magic right now. But there's a... Okay, Aha! cool. There's a jump. Nice. A short P1. Jackamus is going to finish off this horse head, and... Yeah. I, I'm sure he's not going to take a death here. He did take a bop, though. <laughs> and uh, burn even another gem. With, if, if with high life and high health, bosses still hurt. Yeah, they do. So that's three bosses down, so he can go back and, and take on Guma or Karak, or he can try to search for Reflect. If I were what? him, I would just go for Barba, though. Yeah, if you already know where P6 is, you you have Fairy and the Magic Key. That That's probably the best option, because it's either that or trying to hunt down Reflect or doing p5 which is unpleasant on the on even on good day i might do p5 if it was me just because eh, you know it's right there <laughs> but p6 is probably the slightly smarter option at least p5 doesn't loop as much as p6 does but yeah he's going into p6 he's in the pepto bismol palace right now He's picking up a pee bag, which I kind of find funny considering he's burning all his gems. <laughs> well, I mean, he should get a trail, level. Uh, trail, trails brought it up in chat. He might just be banking on Thunderbird not being required. Yeah, and I mean, he's got attack four. He he probably can do it. It's just, you know, it's just a long. It just can't. takes longer. Yeah, magic threes. Do they have thunder yet? No, they don't. No, okay. they don't. Well, there's that. <laughs> well, I mean, if you're if you're banking on Thunderbird not being acquired, you're not going to worry about thunder either. Right. It still just feels weird that you're you're that apparently four three five is just all right with him. Yeah, the three is really the thing that would make me uncomfortable. Considering you usually can't even cast Thunder at this point, assuming yeah. you even found it. The, sh I, the only spells our runners have are Shield, Fairy, and Spell. Yeah, not even Jump, so it's going to be a slog into your Waffle Rooms, mm -hmm. depending on how they're laid out. So at this rate, Jackamus will likely be the first one into GP. Now it's just a matter of how GP t treats him in his current condition. At Trails, he might be burning gems um, because he knows Flash is a is a newer player and um, he's trying to challenge himself to get like the best possible time. So maybe he's sort of playing as if he was playing against you or RCS, uh, if that makes sense. Because he knows he's he's got a good chance at the win. Oh, there's there's boots for flesh. Yep. Uh, I guess Jackamus already picked those up. So, as far as items are concerned, the only ones we haven't seen are the hammer and the water of life. Uh, poor flesh. Without the magic key at all, after all this time. Oof. It's still four magic containers. Just get one more magic container. <laughs> and it'll make things so much better. Need hammer, yeah, for a new casino. And there was two uh, hammer lock caves as well. Right. Yeah, probably. No, I, I suspect one of them might be the other second. I think we only saw one entrance to Death Mountain, so the hammer. So it might be that might be one of, one of the other one, one of the hammer lock caves. I think. Yeah, Jackamus certainly is full speed ahead. So. You know, I'm not gonna knock that kind of that kind of play. I, you guys all know that I'm, <laughs> I, I'm usually too meticulous for that. I very rarely play anything close 
to as fast as the way Jackass plays. I like would will almost never burn a gym. But Yeah, I I wouldn't cool. either, honestly, but when Dick Shake and Yunos play against each other, they're like burning gems all over the place. But that was in the old version. Um, I think they don't really do that in the new version. And Flesh finds Naburu. So we got a free spell here. And meanwhile, you know Jackamus is in the item room in 6. I'm kind of surprised he's bothering to get the item out of here. Unless he's uh, got a hit. No, I don't. The only hint we saw was that, was that piece 5 was worthless. Okay, he picked up some kind of item. It was not a pea bag. Uh, it was not a magic tinner or heart. I, unfortunately, I did not catch the frame that had the item on. It's the hammer. It's the hammer? Okay, cool. And flesh finds thunder in Naburu. I didn't see how much it cost. Nice. It's no doubt more than what he's got, but. Yeah. <laughs> It can't. Well, he's got magic five. It could be sixty-four or less. Possibly. I think I in one of my that. last games, in one of my last games, it was sixty-three at like magic three or four, which was pretty generous. But yeah, ninety-seven seems more likely. Yeah, probably. Yeah, each container, uh, both for the health and the magic container, is uh, 16 units. It's one unit per pixel, including the borders. The borders are, are one of those pixels. We got the fairy block in P6. Jackamus is going to have to cast fairy here. He had enough magic to get through, and now he's, I think, at the other Reba neck. I'm pretty sure he's going to find Barb after this. Uh, question in chat: Is it guaranteed to reach eight? To is it possible to hit? Always possible to hit eight magic containers? Yes. I believe the answer to that is yes. It's the health that's not guaranteed. Mm -hmm. Yeah, some things. Uh, wouldn't make sense with you know fewer magic containers like the magic container requirements in in towns on eastern or the magic container item that you get from uh Nukasudo. you need up to seven to get that one yep. so you have to i believe the randomizer has anywhere from five to seven on any given seat yeah i'm sure the randomizer could be reprogrammed to uh make it possible to not get get them but right now that's just not the way it is programmed and Jackamus finds Barba. Yep. It should be oh. an easy boss for, for Jackamus to take on. I want to say that that second Rebanak is always on the path to Barba, but someone can correct me on that if I'm wrong. Not always. Uh, but since you can't enter it from the right, um, you often do find Barba after that. It can be the item room after that, or it could be a loop, or a drop to somewhere previously in the palace, if, if it's at the top of a, of a drop uh, chain. And uh, the first item on, on Maze Island is a pea bag. Eh, boo. He wants a magic container. Or, like, magic six. <laughs> he probably wants the magic key, too, but we know it ain't gonna be there. Yeah. Oh, well, there's the water of life, though. Yeah. <laughs> Not what he's looking... Wrong... wrong uh... Wrong container of water there, unfortunately. And what spell would help him? Maybe life? Life. Uh, reflect? Uh, considering that we know P4 is here on Maze Island, going all the way... We don't even know which town has reflect, so again, coming back here when you've got... When you don't have to do every palace feels like a bit of a time sink. Now, I think it's important to point out here, uh, since Flesh is a new runner, uh, he is trying fairy feet. That's pretty cool. I'm horrible at this. I've oh, never been able to do it myself, but he gets uh, gets it done. He got bopped by the the scorpion on the left side of the screen when he was on the right because he was doing fairy feet, but he did get it. Unfortunately, this is going to be P4. I was going to point out that he had to know that this was going to happen. Oh, he... well, the. Uh... He never saw P1 in Valley of Death. Oh, yeah. He, okay. He never went to Valley of Death. Okay. I thought he saw that one, but I guess not. Yeah. 
So for him, it was kind of 50 50. Right. And decides to obey back to the back to the west. To me, I see Jacobus staring at a glitchy Barba. I think I've, he's been on that frame for the last 30 seconds or so. Uh, on and my he... end, he's just entering Great Palace now. All right. Uh, I'm going to refresh this game. So, uh, Jackamus is on attack five, so that is better. But goodness knows if Thunderbird's required, he's gonna have to leave anyways. Yeah, a five is fine. Five is fine for attack. But yeah, uh, can you imagine uh, if he if he does need to cast Thunder? We know that at magic five, it's ninety seven still. So if he has to level up his magic to like level six before he even has a chance of casting thunder or, Big or oof. yeah or you know he could find the magic container but this knows we haven't found one on any yeah. on any from anything here right, as of yet yeah exactly which i guess means that there are four places that he hasn't checked that will have it probably this uh, water tile's got one I think Flush is about to check that, and he's going to be pretty happy when he sees the results. I'm I'm betting that's a magic container. Yeah, given that there's yeah. not much else. Yep, yep, there's one. <laughs> there's probably one in Spectral Rock, and, right. or, or one of those blocked caves. There's probably one in Nukasudo, at least. Maybe two. We'll, we'll see. We'd have to see. Yeah, Flush And is... just uh, oh, based off fine. of... Uh... Off of Flesh's tracker, there's the Medicine Cave and the Heart Container Cave. I don't think are unaccounted for. I think. Mm -hmm. But the East is pretty much clear, except for New Casudo. But he can't access that without the hammer. Oh, he knows where it is. Huh? No spell, no magic container requirements for spells. Reflect. And, okay. Uh, there, yep. There, hey. We can oh, do P4 now. <laughs> yeah, he's probably going to, too. And Jackamus, uh, either game over or up eight, whichever. I say I wasn't even paying attention to the route he was taking. Though I do, th I th do remember seeing at least one dead end on Jackamus' side, so. And then there's another dead end, which has a one-up. On the overworld, uh, Flesh is trying to make his way um, to some kind of shortcut, but I guess he gave up on that. I don't think he actually went all the way and saw the end of that road, but he might he might not like the forest encounters that the road often... The, the end of the road was a dead end. Okay. I saw the end of the road to the north, but not the end of the road to the southeast. Oh, I, uh, I was talking about the north end. Jackham is taking care of these orange focus. Uh, the orange focus are actually a, a randomizer kind of exclusive enemy. They were in the code, but Dick Shake implemented them. They're the same as uh, red focus, but they only take one attack to kill. Yeah, I think they actually have one hit point straight up. Probably because that... they didn't actually have any game data otherwise. Yeah, but it makes sense. Definitely a reprieve after after being inundated with the blues and reds. Oh yeah. Uh, the blues <laughs> and yeah, I did. I was right. And yeah, no <laughs> encounters in the Valley of Death. That's interesting. And yeah, my last one P1. had no encounters too. I've had it where there's an encounter in the Valley of Death, but the um, the moat is is positioned in such a way that you can just walk around it. <laughs> The, the lava moat that's around the palace. Hmm. So I wonder if Flesh is going to try to get the item out of P1. I think uh, Jack Miss didn't bother, right? Uh, I'm trying to remember. I, I don't think he ever saw it. Because I think you found Horsehead first. And even at Ma Magic 5, Fairy still costs 39. But I think he has just enough to cap for another cast of it. 
Yeah, his next level is probably going to be life 6 too, so that's not going to help him. Oh, at least the uh, one-ups are generous in Jack and Mrs. Screen. So after all these deaths, he still has three lives left up. That's another gem down for Flesh, so he's got two more to place. I'm thinking he's probably going to go to four. Yeah, given that he's already on on the east and no, has Reflect and knows where four is, uh, that's that might be where he... Or not, never mind. Gonna challenge P6, I guess. Yeah, he's had, definitely heading in that direction. I, I would probably do P4 myself. It's a it's a little bit longer of a walk, but not not really that much more. Especially if you're decent at fairy feet, like it seems flushes. Not to and, mention that you're already on the east. Yeah, and, and having and, to walk back and go back to the east to go to P4. If you're already on the east, you might as well go go there if you're if you're planning on going there at all. Right, and the item in P4 is a little bit easier to get, faster to get to, um, and the, the, it's a shorter palace. Although shorter we keys. know that the best thing it can be is a magic container. Well, yeah, but I think he wouldn't mind that so he can cast Thunder. <laughs> yeah, true enough, true enough. If only he knew that Jackamus was banking. Oh! Oh, there's T Bird. Jackamus is now in the ocean, so I guess uh, T Bird is required. So he's gonna, he's gonna have to find Thunder and either like at least three magic levels, or, or like two or three more magic containers. We suddenly have a race, and Flesh finds Karak pretty quickly. Jack has a lot of catching up to do. Well, so does Flesh, but just in different ways. Uh, unfortunately, Flesh oh, right. this is uh, a little bit. Three. I, I, why did I think Flesh was in P4? Probably because we were, we're talking, talking about, about it. it. But yeah, with now that Jackamus is kind of on a, on a search, we, we've got a race on our hands now. I'm actually surprised that with... With the the hammer, he didn't uh, bother getting Spectral Rock and the the other uh, uh, Boulder Block came. Yeah, no, yeah so there were uh, there were two of them that I saw. And he didn't. Wait, he crossed the ocean and didn't bother checking the boots location. That. Yeah. Why? <laughs> yeah, then. yeah, that's a head scratcher. Well, that's one of the magic containers, so if he skips that, he has to find all the other magic containers before he can cast Thunder. Because, like, even, there's not, like, some combination of magic and um, magic containers that he can get, because magic, it seems that Thunder is not getting cheaper, you know, until, like, at least Magic 6, so... And... Flesh takes down Rebanak. And yeah, Jack is getting his Thunder Spell, which is currently at 90, 94 at Magic 3. Yeah, exactly. So. Actually, hold on. Let me, let me, let me do the math on that real quick. And Flesh has uh, just got Magic 6, so we should see soon enough how quick expensive Thunder gets at that point. Okay, okay, so you said it was 94? Alright, so he just needs two Magic containers, actually. Not three. And it looks like Flesh is heading back to the east. Might be 
heading for either P4 or P5, or no, okay. He's you know, he looks like he's heading more towards P6 instead. And he skipped the magic. He skipped the uh, the magic tainer we know about again too. <laughs> I think. Yeah, that's an interesting one. Uh, as just strange as Jackamus is, I would think he would have either. Would he have forgotten that he has the boots or something? I, I find that unlikely. Where did he get his fifth magic container? Uh, maybe, oh, maybe he did pick it or up. Or maybe, maybe he did check it and we just missed it. Well, we can say that we missed it, but it's really more like his stream missed it. Possibly, possibly yeah. Oh, trails, that's, that's funny. <laughs> and... I'd say Jack like both of both of our runners strong. are now in P6. Yeah. Jack and Mistel's a pretty strong advantage because Flesh still has to find one more magic container. Oh, but he's at magic six right now, so Yeah, he he's at magic six. I haven't seen how much Thunder costs at Magic Six though, so I don't know if, if it got much cheaper. It probably did. Cause it gets cheaper twice, right? Uh Considering that magic costs are random, I just chalk it up to, you know, random being random. Right. Yeah, he might trails. I think more likely he's just going to search for a bunch of magic containers. No, it looks like he's just farm trying to farm iron knuckles right now, though. For real? Thunder still at 94, though. Is he going to farm up 5,000 experience? <laughs> I mean, I guess that's one way to do it. 150 experience per red iron knuckle. 50-50 chance on getting red iron knuckle. Uh, unfortunately, Flesh gets a little lost in P6. Yeah, P4 is nicer. Yeah, but at this point, it's a bit of a walk. Right. I think he would have had an easier time if he had walked earlier, though. <laughs> Uh, that's true. It could it could go down to eighty two or something. I think it's gonna. But be I, it, it's it still costs ninety four at Magic Six. Oh, it still does. Yes. Oh, so if Jackie Miss goes the route of grinding levels, he needs to get to Magic Seven at least. Yeah. Maybe. I know it's pretty much guaranteed to go down by level eight. But if it's not gone down by six, maybe it went down at level one or two or something. From like 128 to like right, 90, 90 something. Yeah, it's gonna take a while to get that magic level up. <laughs> There is uh, one more thing to be concerned about, though. Flesh is probably trying to focus on getting Magic 6 up. But his, his attack is still at level 4, and I'm he is one of the less experienced racers, right? So can he do Thunderbird at attack 4? Uh, well, we'll have to see. Although he is guaranteed at least one more level, that might be attack 5. I didn't uh, look to see. I did look to see where what... 2390 gives. Jacobus just uh, checked Medicine Cave. I don't think he got a magic container out of it, though. Mm, uh, nope, doesn't look like it. It was probably a pee bag, because I didn't catch what it was either. Yeah, my race, my race yesterday was just like that Trails, one heart, two lives. I didn't grind quite that hard, but you know me, I can't I can't pass up grinding altogether. Well, I mean grinding off of five hundred point blue lizards is one thing. Trying to grind off of off of uh fifty fifty red iron knuckles is another. Yeah. But, well if that's really a good point. If you go to the east and especially if you go to like Maze Island or something, and you find a an encounter with a bunch of blue blue lizards Blue lizards. Um, oh no, he, he looped back to something he's already been fleshed in. And he's and, only got, I think, one life left. 
Jackham is finding the heart container cave, which had a red jar. Really? A red jar? Yep. That's I, it, it's possible. I, I don't know if it's just one in the pool or what, but I, it's there. There's a one-third chance he can get um, the item out of Nuka Sudo. Uh, does he have spell? I don't think he does. Uh, it was yeah, out he of does. I guess right? they do. Okay. So he'll probably get one magic container out of there. Maybe two? Because if he gets the the spell item and it's a magic container, then he could go back to the front of the uh, of the town. And there's if it's a magic container, he'll have a two thirds chance of getting that. Uh, at least when you talk to the person at the front, you'll know whether it's five, six, or seven. Right. Plus, there, as Trails mentions, there is Spectacle Rock that could have one. A Canadian hole can't ah uh, flesh. Well, maybe this leads to Barba. <laughs> I don't think it... I think he had been there before, but... Maybe there was another path that he didn't take going this way. Does he have jump? No. no. Okay. This could be a problem. Jackham is checking swamp location. Uh, there's only ever a pea bag or a jar or a life there. And never an item. But maybe he's going for pea bags. I think Flesh already checked down this way. So. And unfortunately, if he comes across the item room, he doesn't have any magic to get inside the door. And I think he was. Uh, trying to remember, was, was this where the candle was? Mm, I think so, yeah. It was either the candle or the hammer. Oh no, that loop, that room looped into itself. Oh dear. He's got to take the Canadian jump, but I don't think he's practiced this sort of thing. Are you ready I for this? I wasn't watching when Jackamus went through P6, so I don't know if that was if that was the way, but it's starting to look that way. I was watching. I watched all 10 frames of P6 that I got from him. Yeah, so hopefully Flesh makes the jump this time, because he has to. I think it's the only way through P6. Yeah, P4 would have been nicer. <laughs> yeah, 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 at this rate. Oh. Is he trying to find another way to not take the jump? You gotta take the jump. That's the only way, buddy. <laughs> I just make it so he can make this jump in relative peace. Here's Nuka Suda for Jackamus. He's probably going to find a magic container here. So, Flesh, if you watch this back, um, if you're doing uh, the Canadian jump from left to right, the whole you have two real tiles, uh, two widths, two uh, widths of length. It, oh, basically. not quite. Yeah, fr from left to right, and then from right to left, it's a uh, four. All right, let's see what's in Spell Cave, or Spell Hut. And based off of what I saw from Jackamus, five was not enough for the first item. Yeah, it's a pea bag. So there probably is a magic container in that first house, but he can't get it yet. Nope. So he's just got to look everywhere else. I think at this point, Flesh should really just consider doing a different palace. But, you know, if you don't really know where the Canadian hole is, how are you gonna, how are you gonna do this? I mean, other than trial and error, of course. Although, from what little I remember from Jackamus, this is just starting to look familiar, though. Starting to. I've seen these screens before myself. They're familiar to me. <laughs> okay. I don't think he's been through here. So maybe he didn't need Canadian Hole. Oh, but he needs yeah, more magic, yep, which he doesn't yep, have. Yep. 
Okay, so Canadian Hill was not necessary. Yeah, ja Jackamus did go through here. But what is necessary is for Flesh to defeat Barba on one life, because that's all he's got. Well, he if has... you play it safe, it's not that bad. Yeah. He has Reflect, which I... He might or might not know blocks Barba's projectiles. Oh, he's got to do a Remanac first. Yeah, he's still got to go through this Remanac, which has given him a little bit of trouble so far. He has Shield, right? Oh, yeah, uh, yeah they, start, they started with Shield. Reflect can can block some of Barbara's projectiles, but it, but Barbara usually uh, it's it's usually not possible to block every projectile with Reflect unless you intend to do that. Yeah, good good Reuben act right there. Yeah, definitely. Had had shield ready, but didn't actually cast it. It's kind of funny. Um, Jacquemus had a big advantage because he went into Death Mountain and got the key. Uh, oh. oh, ow. I've done it. I've done it. Uh, oh, that that hurts. A anyway, as I was, as I was going to say before we all put our our hands on our head in, in shared pain because we... Oh, just, just up and eight, Flesh. Get your magic back. Well, he had to use Fairy to get through the first... There was a locked door right there. He had to use Fairy to get through there. No, he had a key. He cast Fairy and used the key. So. Oh, I didn't even notice that. But at least he, he knows the way. Yeah, he got it from Rebanak. And the Rebanak stays dead, I presume. Yeah, it's dead. He knows the way. Oof. Anyway, sorry, I keep on getting distracted with with my statement. Um, Jacobus, uh, he kind of had an advantage by going into Death Mountain early, but he's not getting his last heart, his last magic container, and it's probably hanging out in Death Mountain. Death Mountain. Possibly, <laughs> he doesn't yeah, want to we, go back. We, yeah, we know it's not in, in uh, magic container cave. It could. If I want, I'm curious to see if he's willing to die to dig P4 for it. Probably, if he's already in here, P4 is one of the easier items. That was one of the reasons why I was hoping kind of Flash would, would go here. Flash's memory is good. He's making his way back. You don't want to fly a little higher than that, just in case that boss, sorry that that uh, Doom Knocker. Uh, jumps into you, but gets away scot free. We know that none of these item locations in in Maze Island are going to help out um, Jackamus that considerably. Yeah. Uh, question, Chad. I believe, from what I saw, Thunder still cast ninety four at Magic Six, so he still can't. Yep. Still yeah. cost ninety four. Still can't use Thunder as of yet. Yeah, so he's got to find one more magic container before it's even possible to cast Thunder. And if he's down even three magic points, he's, he, he won't be able to cast it. So uh, no no touching bubbles <laughs> in GP. For those who don't know, the bubbles are those enemies that look like skulls. That's not... The bubbles, I guess, are not called bubbles. <laughs> they're I've bubbles always called them too. bubbles, so whatever. The bubbles bubbles? Or the skull... See, this is why it's confusing. Oh no, hey, hey, death and flesh! Oh dear. <laughs> but yeah, every frame that you're in contact with one of the skull enemies that are called a bubble, uh, it does drain one magic point per frame. Actually, from what I, from what, from my observation, it it's a per hit, and I want to say it. I may be wrong, but I think it might actually be based off of your magic level, how much you, how much you lose. Uh, it does have to do with your contact time. Maybe it's not every frame, but it's like possibly every other frame or something. Uh, I was pretty sure it was on on hit, but eh. either which Ooh. way, you don't want you don't want it to have it happen. Flesh uh, almost kind of bit the dust there. 
Oh yeah, attack four, and I think this Barba has extra HP. That's one. That's another reason why uh, P4 would have probably been a much better choice. I think Flesh would probably be in GP right now if he went to P4 instead of P6. Possibly, and uh, Hammer Cave was where uh, the magical key was. So Jack, that, so we already knew that one. Yeah. That's one of the things that put uh, Jackamus ahead pretty early. Still looking for our Spectacle Rock. Oh, 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 oh dear. I, yeah. Oh boy, and there's a, that's another that game over. But Flash, really? Uh, really? You know you need another magic container anyway. So, so you might as well go to four anyway, right? Especially since you don't have the hammer? Yeah, possible sunk cost fallacy here. Yeah, I think that's happening. I mean, I am a big victim of sunk cost fallacy when I play these kind of seats, so I'm not one to talk. Well, there's the other <laughs> entrance to Death Mountain. For all the good it does us. Nice. Oh, Jinxie. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I wasn't going to say anything. But there's, there's Spectacle Rock. Yeah, I really think, honestly, Flesh might have defeated Jackamus. And there, there's another, ma if there's another to, magic container in Spectacle people. Rock. Yeah. I kind of figured. Uh, yeah. And along the way, he did get magic five for all the good it's done him. Oh, missed the drop. Now he's somewhere bad. Yeah, yeah I think I think we I think you'd seen this screen before. No trails. He can cast thunder. It's ninety four. He has ninety six MP right now. Uh, it was just the cost didn't change from Magic 3 through Magic 6. Oh, is it 97? Okay. If All it's right. 97, right. then he's still boned. But uh, well, it's 94, he is, he's fine. He is heading towards GP, though. It probably would have gone down by more than three Magic points. All right, Jacobus knows the way to Thunderbird. If that's the only way, then Darkling shouldn't be too far afterwards. Well, Jacobus is kind of the only one who can see what's happening on his screen, really. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So he probably kn he probably knows he has enough magic points. Flesh is back at Barba. Let's see if he can. All he has to do is keep timing his jumps so that he dodges the fire. Yeah, I I would kind of go for reflect here instead of shield. Which, it, oh, oh, he he takes a hit to... but survives. Yeah, that was close. Because with shield, you can probably take two or three hits anyway. Well, you know, he survived because get... you know he did fall into the lava like every other time. Well, yeah. I just mean as, as far as your choice of spell here. Well, I guess he's hit Barba well, three he, times. He, he does he have been shield dead. on right now. So. Yeah, he would have been dead already if he didn't have shield, so... Ooh. It's just usually when you're fighting Barba, if you get hit, you die. Oh yeah, this Barba is, seems to either be very tanky or attack four is not worth much. It's probably both. And, oh. uh, nope, that down, and he takes a drink. Yeah. Uh, Jackamus kind of messed up this wall for him a little bit. I guess it's probably fine if he jump attacks that blue bird, that uh, orange bird from the bottom. 
Yeah. Okay. Oh. Hey. <laughs> we're good. We're good. Alright. Yeah. So it's not often I'm seeing people taking contact damage to Barba, though. Yep. Oh, dear. Go to P4. Thank okay, he's, he's, he's leaving. <laughs> Where is he going? I don't know. He's not heading for the raft spot. But... I guess he's going to try to turn in his medicine? Maybe. But it doesn't matter what spell you're going to get. It's not going to make Barba easier. No, no. Unless Life he's really good at jacket. When, when you fall <laughs> into the lava. Yeah. Well, Tra Trails has a point. If it's we haven't seen fire yet, so if it's fire linked with thunder, that yeah, well, that still that still won't help with Barbara, I don't think. No, it'll, it'll definitely go. It'll definitely go a long way. Yeah, that could be a possibly a game changer if if Flesh gets to P four and beats it super fast. It's yeah, life. it's life. Well. I, I feel I feel a little sad now because I know Flesh he could be deep in GP now. He could possibly have won. If he can beat, you know, attack five Thunderbird or Attack Four or whatever. If he went to P4. But you know what? I mean that's just He didn't have quite as much information as we did. To be fair, most of the information we got was from Flesh because we can barely see what's on Jackamus' screen. Yeah, so. and meanwhile, Jackamus is back to Thunderbird and oh, has so, to yeah. take a death and is actually having some issues finding an enemy to actually kill him. Oh, wow. Well, just have Thunderbird kill you. True enough. <laughs> but this is Jackamus' last life, though, but if he can get past Thunderbird, that's, that's still progress. Oh, if it's his last life, maybe he's trying to grind magic back up. See, that's the thing. No, but if, well, it's his last life now. Oh, okay. Well, as long as he gets Thunderbird out of the way. Yeah, right? yeah. That that's that's at least it, it's progress. A Thunderbird is an easy fight if you got a lot of practice, and and Jackamus does. Uh, attack 5 should be fine. When he was at attack 3 and burning gems, I was like, uh... <laughs> yeah, yeah. Enjoy your 100-hit Thunderbird. <laughs> and, and and finding out that about, you know, grinding for magic levels, he was probably regretting that decision. Yeah, probably. <laughs> but, you know, I think that he did things the way he did in part to practice more than anything. And maybe get like a really impressive time. Alright, looks like Thunderbird's almost dead. One or two more hits. Well, on my end, he's still got three bars, but. There we go. Or two. Yeah, Life 5 is fine. You know me, Trails. I, I go like half the seat at Life 3 or 4. Well, technically, Life 1 is fine if you never get hit. Right? That's my, that's my mentality. Just don't get hit. All right. So with Thunderbird down, how much more of GP do we have left? Could be a lot. Yeah. Now he does have only three uh, life bars and no magic at all. So Darkling is somewhat it, threatening that, at that point. Or, Some. or yeah. Oh, what? what what happened? Did he get a free or, life? Or or Orange Bird got him. Oh, oh I, I thought he was on his last life. He must have picked he, up an extra one, huh? No. Well, if he, 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 oh, he died he, in the room after Thunderbird. Oh, okay, so now he's starting the whole palace over. Oh, okay. Yeah. I didn't see that. Oof. And I'm not saying that I didn't see it because I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> I was paying attention. Yeah, we're, we're, we're doing the best we can here. And by the way, I'm not making fun of, like, you know, a restream or anything. Jackamus, if you rewatch this, I'm making fun of your internet connection. And just so we're clear. Meanwhile, Flesh uh, reaches Palace 4. 
Or, you know, it's probably just Jacobus's OBS settings. He's probably, like, streaming at 4K or something. <laughs> That's one dead end for flesh. Yeah. Well, doing P4, that's good. Uh, P4 does have a lot of uh, right dead ends, but it is it is a better palace. It's, Even it's... though it's a bit of a time sink to try to go for those keys, it might be best to uh, better uh, to conserve magic, maybe and conserve lives. Yeah, I would go up here. He wants to avoid as many door. Eh, well. <laughs> If he gets a mag he's he's gonna get a magic container at the item room. And that will refill his magic. But well, this is not the item room. Yeah, there's dead end number two. And unfortunately he's gotta use half his magic just getting back out of here. Yeah. But I mean it's the same way with every palace, really. Is a jar there, I think, but um he'd have to go up to that elevator and come back down or Something There's like another that. dead end, oh boy. Oof. Timing on this uh, Iron Knuckle fight. Um, he either doesn't have it down or maybe he's just feeling very frustrated right now. Yeah, right. Yeah, the, pr the proper vernacular on tilt. <laughs> There's a key! Hey! Yay! And... Okay. I, I thought that was the, uh... And, oh! Ouch! Didn't quite make it onto the ledge. You gotta be brave on these bridges. You can... You can take the... Oh, don't cast fairy, please. You need all that magic! <laughs> Well, if he gets the item first and it's a magic container, then he'll have enough magic to beat Karak. Or if he turns in his gem, he'll get his magic back. I guess either way is fine. All right, we're at the Leap of Faith. Please make the jump. I think he's going to make it, yeah. Ooh, yeah. Jackass, meanwhile, passing by where Thunderbird was. Yep. Two knockers in a row. Low on health, but he's got the full complement of lives, I believe. What's Flesh trying to do? You can't jackhammer these guys very easily. <laughs> well, you gotta try sometime, right? I think Flesh is on his last life, though, so he shouldn't be so carefree. Yeah, Reflect is pretty cheap, and he... oh, I think he was... Well, we now know what Fire's linked to. Does he have that key still? I think he does. He should get his magic back right here. Yeah, he should be fine. It's a... Uh... Okay, yes, it is. Good. Told okay. you. <laughs> yeah, but I, it, it, it feels bad that he... He preemptively cast Reflect, thinking it was the Karak room, probably. And now... What? Okay. Well, we know Well, we know life is at least four bars. That's, so that's, that's good. good. I don't think now's the time to be tanking. <laughs> you can turn around and block those, because you can only tank so much. Yeah, and then yeah. It's game over. Mm, yep. And now you gotta backtrack, unfortunately. Yeah. Meanwhile, Jackamus is making further progress in GP now. past the post-Thunderbird drop. Oh, nice. Now, there could... There's not really anything that can stop him after this except for skill stuff. He's got upstab and downstab and the glove, so if he doesn't die, this is pretty much in the bag for him. Yeah. I And the reason we sound disappointed is because we do like a, a close game. Yeah. I'm going to read... Dark Link fresh. and... Oh, boy. Okay, Flish makes it through that room, all right. Oh, Jack was taking a couple bops from Dark Link. Oh, 
Right. Flesh taking a different route through P4, taking the drop from the Leap of Faith. That's fine. That, that probably will work out. Well, yeah, the other way led to the item room, right? And with that, Jackamus taking first place with an official SR all time, a 11340. GG. Get your GGs in chat, yep. Well, Trails, I mean, like you said, this was a race between one of the oldest players in Z2 art and one of the newest players. And all things considered, um, it it could have been a lot worse. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, it, it, it could have gone a couple different ways here, yeah. A GG, Jackamus. Thanks. But, uh... It was a little annoying towards the end. <laughs> yeah, yeah, a little bit, yeah. So, um... Yeah, it's it's kind of funny uh, that one Flesh, of the... Uh, what are you doing? Oh, uh, no, attacking doesn't change your ability to block these. Oh, it's really? Just, okay. Yeah. Even though your shield's not there, it's still fine. Fair enough, okay. Um, yeah, so one of the first things you did that gave you a big advantage over Flesh was you got, uh, you went to Death Mountain and got um, a certain thing called a magic key, which uh, Flesh still doesn't have. Yeah, he's never set foot in Death Mountain. Ooh, and it, ouch. And it turns out that was the last thing you needed to be able to complete the game. <laughs> yeah, because he just, he Death Flesh just placed his fourth gem now. Uh, you needed a little bit more than uh, just the key. <laughs> Oh yeah, I, I mean, you had uh, five magic containers, and you needed a sixth to be able to cast thunder, and that was in um, that was in Death Mountain. So the, the first place you went, that gave you an advantage, basically was the last place you went to finish the game. Uh, it ended up being the last place that I went, but uh, I could have gone into some of the shorter palaces that I skipped the item on and see if that was a magic container or not, but. Uh, no, it's a little frustrating when you have to just look around for a magic container at the end, especially after you've already gone out of your way to level up magic a few times and the cost for thunder doesn't change at all. It's like, come on, game. Give me a break yeah. here. I want I want I want to finish up, man. I know I need to fight Thunderbird. Just just give me what I need. Come on. And uh, just so you know, magic 6 didn't change the thunder level uh, thunder cost either. Although we we uh what we did find end up finding a uh, magic container in P4. Oh yeah, P4 would have been on uh, Maze Island, eh? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. So Flush can now uh, tackle GPs, place all his gems, and he's got enough magic to cast Thunder. Um, so were you, were you a little bit, um, were you sort of practicing to try to get the fastest seed possible? Because you did burn your all of your gems, right, or all but one of them? I usually do that. Yeah. <laughs> I would have said, oh, were you kicking yourself, blah, 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 but as it turns out, leveling up magic didn't really help, <laughs> so... Uh, not really. I mean, early levels go by quick enough there, like, whenever I was like, well, it's only 700 for magic 4, I'll just level that up and see if that changes it. It's like, that was like 4 red iron knuckles or something, so that was no big deal. Then, uh, magic 5 I got while I was just fishing for magic containers all mm -hmm. over Hell's Creation. And at that point, when I saw it didn't change, it's like, all right, I really need to just buckle down and find another one of these things somewhere. So that was that. And yeah, fortunately, we found out that fire is linked to reflect. So that wouldn't have helped. E that was what well, that option was off the table. Well, it helps a little bit in Thunderbird, but well, I mean, as opposed to fire being linked to thunder. Yeah. Yeah, the the seed I did last week had fire. Oh, jeez, Flesh, so what the heck was that? What kind of save was that? That was a good save. That was a save that saved him. <laughs> Sorry about that, Jack. What were you saying? I was just saying the seed that I did for last week's uh, had fire and thunder linked together, so that was nice, but uh, Thunderbird wasn't required on that one. Killed it anyway, though, because, yeah, why not? Yeah. Jackamus actually, uh, Flesh might have gotten the better of you if he wasn't so focused on P6. Uh, he... Yeah, he ended up like, game overing like two or three times to Barba. Yeah, he got Reflect, and he was 
he was in uh, the West right then, but then he he went he like up an A to go back and, and do P6 instead of walking to Maze Island, which would have gotten him the magic container he needed and a much much faster Alice completion time. Ah, uh, that's rough. Um, yeah. I never touched P4 because I never found uh, reflect until after it mattered at all. Like. Whenever I saw that P6 was next to GP, I was just like, well, I'll go to the other continent and do 1 and 2, wherever those are at, and then come back and hopefully finish up. But then, you know, after a bit of mucking around in Great Palace, uh, you know, you walk through uh, a room that's basically going to drop you back to the start, and from there it's like, oh, great. So I know I know how this is going. I know how this gets generated. It's like, yeah, I'm going to probably need thunder if I don't find enough junctions which I didn't so it's like all right great now I gotta find that found it all right awesome how much does it cost way too much fantastic yeah so I mean it was a very impressive uh, you know start to the seed I think you were probably almost done with the seed uh, you entered GP what like at the 40 something minute mark probably maybe uh, it was 40 minutes whenever I left Great Palace once I knew I was going to need Thunder, so I think I was in there about, like, 35 minutes or something like that, because I spent a half hour just being able to cast the Thunder spell, getting levels and looking around for, uh, for magic containers and whatnot there, so, uh... Uh, looking up, looking up in chat, apparently, according to Trails, you were in GP at, uh, 3350. That's real good. Yeah, yeah, for for a four gemmer, uh, that's that's pretty decent for sure. And Flesh making it to Thunderbird, make it, finding that path a lot faster than you did. Oh, you don't gotta say it like that. Um, well, I mean, it's it's the luck of the draw sometimes, you know. Yeah, of course. Um... And you were trying not to encounter Thunderbird at first, so there's that. Yeah, yeah, definitely. <laughs> That basically took all of his. Well, it's 94. He's got 96 magic, so. It's basically all of it. Yeah. Yeah, it's same same deal for me there. But uh, I don't know. I'm pretty decent at Thunderbird, even though he was being a little odd with his movement for me there. Well, fortunately, uh, Flesh still has a couple lives left. Uh, he did lose that that particular encounter, but. Uh, got a few more attempts on this this go but there's yeah. uh, a decent amount yeah, of calls after thunderbird right yeah there there looks like i think it was a few screens after this yeah there is a little bit after thunderbird yeah i ran afoul of of all things an orange bird night after my thunderbird kill so i had to walk back there so i was like uh i was, de I was definitely a little on tilt at that point but yeah you know that's just how this randomizer goes <laughs> Yeah. yeah, that's one of the few frames of yours that I did see. <laughs> oh. Yeah, I know. I know my internet connection ain't the greatest here. Um, I probably will be able to stream from a different location going forward. So hopefully, I'll be able to schedule a match on a day where I have access to a better internet, and that'd be nice going forward here to at least be able to watch what I'm doing a little bit. Have you? Uh... Have you tried streaming at a lower resolution, one that matches the NES? Um, oh, oh yeah, oh yeah. My resolution is basically as low as I can go without it being like three pixels. So, <laughs> and I'm and I'm you know I've cranked my frame rate down to like 15 frames a second, but it's it's just it's just my internet. It's crap, plain and simple. It's too bad. Yeah. One thing that sucks about Thunder costing as much as it is, you, you can't afford shield, so so you can take more hits. Or reflect, even with it linked to fire. Yeah, those little, never space, actually those found little fire itself, can be quite yeah. nice against Thunderbird the odd time. Um, the life stat was Oof. pretty good in this seed. Life 5 was pretty standard. Uh, I mean, a little bit better than normal life 5, so it was just like, eh, should be fine. I got hit by Thunderbird once in my fight, and it did a little under two containers, so not too terrible, I don't think.
Yeah, so while we got you on here, um, you streaming anything else uh, this week or next week other than uh, Zelda 2 Randomizer? I'm in the Dragon Warrior uh, tournament that's ongoing as well, but beyond that, I'm not really streaming because I don't see a point in forcing people to watch a slideshow. It's more or less just a necessity for being in the races right now, but uh, once I get some manner of internet sorted out, I'll be playing a few more games and stuff, so I'm looking forward to that, I guess. Yeah, um, so that that's pretty great. I think we got a couple of racers to do in the Dragon Warrior randomizer. Oh yeah, there's uh, definitely some overlap between the two communities, so I know people from both that play both, so it's pretty cool. Yeah, goodness, as I've been in, I've been in both, so I've kind of taken some time off, partially because of work. Yeah, I really like Dragon Warrior randomizer. It's it's a pretty fun one, I think. There are randomizers for the other games too, but those games are just too long to make that like enjoyable <laughs> to to race with other people. Yeah, I have some experience with Dragon Warrior 2, and yeah, it's maybe it's just because I because I'm not that ooh ouch. Maybe it's just because I'm not as experienced in the game as opposed to Dra Dragon Warrior 1, but it's well, Dragon Warrior 2 is also it, it's much longer. It's not as long as four or three, but still a lot longer than one especially when you consider what, what's that uh roan or something that huge yeah. cave at the end of the game with a mountain on top i love that but it's it takes it took me forever when i was playing it casually i don't know if it was randomized it'd probably still take people a long time yeah well in my i actually played a seed of it recently the main issue i had was a, a bunch of enemies having and spamming defeat Oof. Dragon Warrior 1 just works really well as a randomizer because it's just, you know, you start the game up and it tells you exactly what you need to do to finish, right? You find a few quest items and go kill the Dragon Lord. Nice and simple, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. And unlike a lot of other uh, Dragon Warrior games, there's, you know, the optional rescue of, uh, of Princess Quailin. Most other Dragon Warrior games, there's not really too much optional stuff that you could use to mix up the seeds a little bit, you know what I mean? Definitely. Yeah, the other ones have more like a... At least with 4, you have a somewhat linear progression for half of the game. But then even in uh, 2 and 3, you need quite a lot of different stuff to open up uh, basically the second half of the game. Or in the case of Dragon Warrior 3, there's like three very distinct phases of the game, I would say. Yeah. Three? I'm thinking of two, but... Let's see. Oh, well, I guess there's there's uh, the first part, the first map, I guess you could say, before you're on your quest to find the six items. And then there's, I guess, finding the six items, and then there's the other map. Try not to spoil a 30-year-old game. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> hey, you know, whenever I played the game for the first time a couple years ago, uh, I somehow hadn't been spoiled on it, so I thought that that was really cool. I know, isn't it awesome? <laughs> I love, I loved that. Uh, I mean, I didn't know that you had done that, but I mean, when I first played through Dragon Warrior Three, I was I was quite young, and there weren't that many ways for me to actually get spoiled at that point but it was it was quite a pleasure playing that game for the first time and getting a few fun surprises uh i don't re remember your early goings through uh gp did you ever find that go through the yawn drop in that stuff jackamus nope okay, oh, it so led him back to fairy room that so. side, though. it looks like taking that drop just led you right back to the fairy room and he's not getting the fairy i mean I mean, sure. <laughs> well, I mean, we had commented on Flesh's experience with the game or potential lack thereof. I, maybe, how, I can't really say how aware he is that that fairy is even there. Yeah. Um, yeah. Once he once he realizes that, it's gonna be it's gonna be something he can't forget. It's it's the only room that looks anything like that really in the palace. Yeah. 
I don't even bother looking for the other fairies, but there's a, a fairy at the end of one of those dead ends, and there's a fairy to the left of one of the elevators. I don't even bother, because it's, it's all a matter of chance and stuff, so... But the fairy room itself? Yeah. If I'm low on health and I, and I need my magic... It can, be it can be a nice spot to top off if you uh, don't have the life spell or decent magic stat, or if, you know, the palace is just completely awful. Yeah. This, this 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 one wasn't too bad, but I could see it being a little tough to navigate. Uh, like the the main thing for this one is to realize that that long empty hallway with all the fireballs spawning all over the place. Like that's a room that you drop into. So like if you see that early on, it's like you don't want to take drops. Yeah. Yeah. Unfortunately, flesh finding the bottom half of one of those one way drops. I really hate vertical bullets on a low floor. Yeah, it's kind of hard to dodge those. Well, he's back in the fairy room. Cause he knows the, he knows the way to Thunderbird. I guess he's just trying to see if Dark Link is some other direction, which I don't blame yeah. him for. Yeah, totally. It's, yeah, it's when, the I, right when I first combination. found uh, Thunderbird, I went back um, and checked the other direction. I think. But uh, when I went to the fair room the first time, I went up instead of down, and it just leads to a longer dead end. Uh, well, he, oof, he... Don't get killed by these ropes. <laughs> That's an embarrassing way to die, getting killed by a rope. But sometimes it just happens that way. Whoa, a key dropped! Have we yeah, seen for, a key Yeah, for all the good it does us now. <laughs> I saw, I saw a few keys drop on my end, but I had the magic key like 10 minutes in, so it didn't matter. Right. He's probably gonna bite the dust here, but he still has a few lives left, so... Uh, one life. One life. Okay, well, you can Which always do... means he can't afford to use any magic right now. Yeah, not one. No touching bubbles either even though they are fuzzy. Well, he's got Thunderbird down, right? So it's just no, a matter doesn't. of staying alive till you get to the Dark Link room. Yeah. He does not. Uh, Thunderbird, he, he died to Thunderbird. Hey, Flash, Ooh, if, you're watching, if you're watching this again, uh, probably would have been smarter to kill that Oop, red, there's... Oh, boy, red, yeah. red dude and then go and get your uh, magic then. Yeah, he can't. He can't win now, actually, because he touched the bubbles. Yeah, and that was yeah, that was a good bit of magic that he lost. He ends up dying to the the bird knight anyway. Unfortunate, but you know, it wasn't the easiest GP. No, it wasn't the hardest. But I'd give like in terms of difficulty, I would probably say that was like a seven out of ten, maybe. Would Would you say that accurate, Jackmas? Um, in terms of, like, overall navigation factored in, 7 out of a 10, it sounds about right. There were a couple of, uh, there were a couple of nastier rooms, for sure. Yeah. But, uh, like, you, you could up that by one or two if, uh, there were more bluebird knights instead of red ones. The red ones aren't too aggressive, but if you had a lot of blues there, especially, you know, if you're coming in without basically any support magic to help you out. Yeah, it could be, could, could have been much, much worse. Now, Flesh, like... did, Flesh did get the life spell out of yeah. Mido that does do at least four four bars from what I saw, so that it helps, but yeah. Yeah, and he does have the reflect spell, which could maybe help him with the ropes, but it's probably not really worth it against ropes, honestly. When it's linked to fire... And you can just oh no! <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's one way to kill a <laughs> kill one of those guys. Body check him in lava. Ooh, ooh, okay. That was a little close. I'm just going to bring this up and watch the end now, I think, so... For sure, for sure. Yeah.
Well, thanks for restreaming and commentating and all that jazz, guys. Yeah, uh, thank yeah. you for coming in and uh, congratulations on the win. Uh, does this put you in uh, in a bracket right here? I don't really know the format. I'm just having fun with it for now. I'll worry about that later. You're right. <laughs> well, have a good Let's one. Go, Bruins! Sports team, go! <laughs> Bruins, they play the, the the footballs, right? Uh, hockey. Oh, real? I was gonna well, say uh, sarcastically, but well, it's... unless he's thinking UCLA, which that could be a lot of things. If really? I'm, if, assuming I'm even thinking things, right? I, I might just be totally off base. I don't know. Are there two Bruinses? Well, I mean, Trixie Bruinses. At least he has this nice jar here, which which shows up nice. eventually when you have when all these boggle boggles aren't around. Yeah, it should have shown up, but I guess he just missed the stab by just a little tiny bit. I wonder how many enemies have to be on screen for an item to despawn an enemy. I don't. I think they're in different like memory categories though, so that probably never happens. Uh, I think I want to say I've actually experimented with that in my younger days. I think I want to say enemies start disappearing on two items. Hmm. Okay. I think I've actually experimented with that one time when I was young. We all do a little experimenting when we're young. Like, for instance, Flesh is experimenting with ways of killing this red folk up. Not so much. Uh, if he doesn't kill this folk, this life is kind of use useless. Yeah, he's gonna cast this, get to, get to Thunderbird and beat Thunderbird on his last life. I don't think anyone's actually checked for the jar in this room, though, so there might be a jar here. Uh, actually, uh, I think... Yeah, uh, Yeah, there is one. I know somebody... I, I think it might have been Jackamus got it before... Uh, it was he had, when he had to take a death before... Oh, jeez. Oh, right, he has no magic, of course. Yeah. Okay, yeah, I, I'm really bad at telling those the, the waffle rooms that have the jars apart from the waffle rooms that don't have the jars. I'm sure there's... It has to do with the enemy spawn pattern. That's how you yeah, tell Yeah, I it believe first. so, yeah. I'm just not... not I don't remember which... I don't necessarily <laughs> remember which one's which either. Oh, no. Jumping the gun on that jump. No! Ugly. All right. Remember, safety is key. Put on those hard hats. Yeah, no. I think this is uh, not going to happen. Yeah, this is still the easy form of Thunderbird, so... There we go. There's the fireballs. Okay. And that's another, another game over. Well... Trails, I never ask uh, rooms their names when I enter them. <laughs> How do you tell the dark, dark Magician room apart from the other rooms? That's the one with the jar in it. So the one with the jar in it is the one with the jar in it. <laughs> and Flesh is persevering. He's going right back. He's going in. Well, you know, that's pretty good. Get her done. Yeah, I think Flesh has a lot of potential here. Like, you know, as, as a racer. He's, he's already pretty decent. Um, so seeing him, um, you know, round out his, his uh, weaknesses will, uh, I think we'll see a pretty good racer going forward. 
Yeah, it, 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 though, it, just from observation, it seems like combat might be something he needs to shore up on. Alright, so two enemies at the bottom of the elevator. Got it. Cool. Thanks, Rails. I will remember that and use it to beat you when we face each other. Yeah, upstab, son. <laughs> I don't know about casting life in the room with a fairy in it. <laughs> Gotta and... love it. Gotta love momentum. I do now, Trails. Now that you told me. Oh, oh! Oh, boy. <laughs> Yeah, I got it. Two enemies at the bottom. When, when you said that. Is he on his last life or second to last? Uh, I think he's died once here. Okay. No, uh, no, uh, yeah, yeah, he has two lives. Okay, that's good. I can't, I... Seeing the life counter in the in the status screen it kind of throws me off sometimes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because one, you know, on when you lose a life, it shows you your your actual kind of true life count, or you could and say your status, status screen plus how many one extra lives you have. Yeah. Or maybe it's just like they both show the same the same thing. Uh, you know what? I think it would have really been a better idea for him to fight the the red foca down there and then go up and get the jar. Then he would have had two shots of Thunderbird. Alright, well, run I mean, from that he has bubble. Full magic as of now. Run from that bubble. Don't let it get you. And I saw that the life is actually five bars. Oh yeah, it's a really good life spell. All right. All right One yeah, more try. Yes, he's got full magic, so two tries, I have really. two shots at Thunderbird here. The so first time he got here, take... had three shots, right? Hmm? Um, the first time he got here, he somehow had three shots, didn't he? Uh, I think so, yeah. Probably picked up extra lives at some point. Oh no, getting nervous. I think he's on his last hit for this one, yep. Yeah, he did good against that red, that red, uh, bird right there. I'm so empty, I can't, I don't even really try to kill those birds. I honestly don't play. either, I find they're more trouble than they're worth. Yeah, if I've got upstab, I might do it, but like otherwise, it's like no. <laughs> at least the uh, flesh appears to have at least the the pendulum movement going. He's just got to work on dodging the fire. Go to the school of Piccolo. Someone gets that. It wasn't funny. So, sounds like a DBZ rep of some sort. I'm just not familiar on the specifics of it. Yeah, it's a DBZ abridged thing. Ah, uh, yeah, I'm definitely not familiar with that one. Uh oh. Oh, he started freaking out for a second. Can he make it through this? No. Nope. nope. And it looks like Flesh has uh, has forfeited the race. Oh. Got it. Well, Gotta give him props. He 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 gave it he got, gave it a good effort there. Yeah, and he was really close a few times. Um, if he comes in, I'll try to give him some recommendations on on um, ways to work on that kind of stuff. Because um, it seems like overall he's got some pretty good strengths. Just a few weaknesses that are holding him. But yeah, GG to him for for trudging through it like that. 
Jinx, and over, uh, and over, overcoming the the downside of not never finding that magic key, was able to get through all the palaces anyway. Right? Yeah. Are we uh, getting Mr. Flesh in chat, Jinxie? Do you know? Uh, he was asked in IRC. Has not responded from what I've seen. Although he's actually left IRC. So. At the moment, I find it unlikely. Okay. Oh, hey, how's it going, Flesh? Oh. There. Okay. Okay. Uh -huh. You know. Ah, okay, so he's joined the stream chat, okay. Well, if you want to, you can, if you don't want to. Oh, uh, that, that's fine, too. Um, so like we were saying, you're up against one of the most experienced um, racers. So you, you did as well as you did, and uh, you know, I'd say that was pretty good. Um, in the future... Oh, hey, how's it going? Hello. Hello. Oh. Um. Okay. So I have to mute the stream for a second. Otherwise, I hear myself twice. Yeah. Um. Okay. So where sh where should I start? <laughs> um. I felt pretty comfortable before the race because I I practiced and I did one run and I was like, yeah, I'm I'm playing pretty good. And I was also feeling throughout the entire run that I played really good up until I decided, hey, P6 is on a better route than P4, let's right. do that. And after I died the second time to the boss, I was like, fuck my life. <laughs> and from there on, my entire mindset and concentration was at zero, pretty much. I was like just frustrated with everything. I tried my best to stay positive. But I couldn't. I just couldn't. I think if I haven't done that, I could have. I could have potentially won. But yeah, yeah that was. Z two can do that to you sometimes. Yeah. yeah. I was like, us. if so many or not so many things went wrong. If I would have seen earlier that Death Valley is so small, I would have like routed everything very differently. But I saw just barely Death Valley, and it was like, I want to check out Ma Maze Island first. Um, and I was hoping on Maze Island was P1 and not P4. Then I was there and I was like, oh no, I don't have Reflect. So I went on a little adventure on East again. Got Reflect, but I was at that point... Going to Maze Island again is longer than going to P6. And then when I was at the P6 boss, I realized... Wait, this boss takes no damage if my attack level is very small. And I was like so panicky after my first game over where I, uh, it was, ah, uh, it was also bad. <laughs> yeah. And after that, it was just frustration pretty much. Yeah. Um, you actually had a shot if you, if you, um, when you got reflect, you decided to go to P4 instead of P6. I could see why you would, why you made the decision for P6. Cause it was yeah. kind of like, well, P4 is closer, but I have to go through, you know, Maze Island again. And I had but to they... go through the cave again and yeah. like wake all the way over. And I was like, P6 and P uh, and Great Palace are so close to each other. Yeah, and I there, was... Was that. there was that too. Yeah. And I was also like, hey, I practiced the bosses relatively recently and I felt pretty confident in my P6 boss fight. So I was like, well, let's let's see if I can do it. And then nerves kicked in and I couldn't do it. And the first game over was like the wackiest shit that happened. I don't know if you still remember it, but I was with one life walking into the boss room, trying to and set it you, up. You missed the jump, yeah. Yeah, I missed the jump and I was like, wait, that did not happen. I laughed so hard of me. And, and then I was like trying again. Then I realized, oh shit, he takes no damage. And then I got like hit twice, unfortunately, and I died. Well, he will so, take yeah. damage. It's just uh, yeah, it's it's just you yeah. don't need to fall into the pits. Yeah, yeah. That, that's and, the hard thing with Barba. Like getting hit. Yeah, he does a ton of damage. But most of the time, you don't have to worry about that because there's lava to greet you most of the time. <laughs> yeah. No, my problem was that because of nerves, I was like so shaky that I I couldn't dodge his attacks all consistently. And I can tell you in practice, like also Thunderbird and and the. Uh, 
P6 boss, they went so much better, but, you know, obviously practicing and, and doing something in a tournament are two way different things. Yeah, and with those bosses, sometimes all you can do is just practice it and hope for the best, really. Right. Actually, the uh, randomizer, it, uh, with if you adjust its flags, uh, you can set up a pretty good, um, pretty good seed for like practicing. Like set your set your attack to weak, and then never level it up so that it's like weaker than a level one sword. And set your mm -hmm. magic to infinite and start with all the spells. So then you can just cast life as much as you want, and then uh, you know make save states before reach the bosses. And I mean. Yeah, that sounds good, but Trials have sent me um, a practice file, so I use that. Oh, okay. Yeah, oh, cool. that's nice. You're pretty good at that fairy feat. Um, I'm still having a hard time with that one. Yeah, I don't think I've ever done that myself. I, don't, I haven't really tried it that often. <laughs> I get it maybe like 20% of the time, which is not enough to actually make that useful. Yeah. No, I, I just I just saw it on, on Trials stream when I was watching him and I was like, hey, that's a thing. And I was just randomly trying it every now and then. It's one of the most useful techniques, especially when you need to get through Maze Island or other forced encounters. Yeah, Ma Maze Island or Death Valley. Like or, if, even, if you can... um, or even like the, the road with the... Uh, uh, with the stone, stone throws. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, th those are the best. Like, I, I I rarely experience one of these road encounters. I think I've played in my last twenty seeds at least maybe one or two where I had to encounter these. Yeah, they're usually not in a spot where you act, where you have to go through them. Yeah. But yeah, okay. I, I'd say you did a pretty good job, all things considered, and um, your your skills are definitely. Good enough with that. With a little bit of practice, you can be putting up some really good times consistently. I think. Yeah, to be honest, I could have definitely finished that seed, but with my 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 head was completely not there anymore. I was so frustrated, and I also kind of ran out of time. So I just was like, ah, I I better forfeit and try to to leave it like that, other than trying it over and over and over with my current, you know, attention towards the game. Right. Yeah, but props to you for sticking to it as long as you did. I, I honestly wouldn't have blamed you for, for forfeiting like one or two game overs sooner than that once you had seen <laughs> that Jacobus had finished. So props to you for sticking it out as long as you did. I mean, yes, I, I could just, yeah, I like just to finish, better, better finish it and see it as practice than you know forfeit. But yeah, sometimes you have to. I feel like. It's, it's better, you know, at this point I was like, what is better for me? Trying to finish that seed and, and be happy with it and see it as a, hey, I completed it at least, or just forfeiting and having a more relaxing evening from now on. Well, and I mean, I, you still I mean, you still have the seed on hand. You could always pick up, you can keep trying later. Yeah, but that's not the same, you know? Yeah, true enough. But man, f thanks for, for restreaming it. It's funny how my first restream match is like by far my worst. <laughs> the, the first time I played in this tournament, I played Bass Thunder. And I played like extremely good. That was the best time I've played ever. And but, I was still. But you were against Buzz Thunder. <laughs> yeah, I was, still, I was still 10 minutes behind him. If I played like that against most other people in the tournament, I could see myself winning like 70, 60% of the games. Yeah. But against like Bus Thunder or like other good players like Trials, I would have definitely lost. So yeah, it was yeah, kind of sad. I want to say Thunder. in the last tournament, I believe it was Buzz Thunder that took me out. So yeah, I, I feel you on that one. Even though he like <laughs> ever plays in weeklies, he's still really good. Yeah, I I realized that. I realized that once I played with him. But yeah, that's how it is. Thank you for restreaming and commentating, by the way, guys. Oh, no problem. No problem. I don't know if I've said that yet. Yeah, it's all good. Well, I'll take as many thanks as I can get. <laughs> yeah, same. Speaking of thanks, I, I do want to thank Jinxie Girl and, uh, let's see. Uh, it was well, uh, Centurion, I believe. Yeah, there oh, sorry, Siberian, I'm sorry. That's it. <laughs> For uh, getting this uh, restream set up and uh, tracking. And uh, Mila Wizard, thank you very much for being my co-coms. Appreciate yeah. that. Yeah, no problem. 
it's 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 been a while since I've been in the booth. I should do this more off. I well, <laughs> assuming my my job lets me. And thanks to ZSR for hosting our tournament and our weekly races. Uh, we do appreciate that as a community. So thanks for uh, thanks for sticking with. And of course, there's the viewers who you know. That's kind of the whole point of doing this whole restream thing. So uh, thank you all very much for showing up. Um, any any last words, anyone? Well, yep. we do have another race coming up in a couple of hours on uh, ZSR Prime. It's going to be a big one. It's Trails versus Rose City Saint. Yeah, those are two really good players. I got oh, yes, that. That is going to be a pretty good. hype race, and I will be in the booth for that one as well. You beat me to it. I was just coming on to remind everyone that we do have a game two coming up at 9.30. That's going to be on CSR main. So be sure to tune in. It will be super exciting. It's a pretty hype match. We will be joined by Melee Wizard again, uh, which is always fun. And a big thanks to our commentators and uh, my co-tracker who headed to bed because he's in Germany. But um, oh, yeah, big thanks I, to I'm everybody. Yeah. That, that's kind of convenient. It's a little late for you guys, I think. Yeah. I mean, my sleep schedule is like very unusual for a German. Yeah, it definitely it. sounds like it. But we definitely appreciate you allowing us to restream. Um, big thanks to everyone that supports ZSR. You know, we have a great community. If you think that you are capable of playing this Z2 randomizer or you want to commentate or track, please feel free to reach out to anyone that you've seen on this stream today. We'll be happy to set you up with the Discord and get you all ready to go. So again, on behalf of ZSR, I'd like to thank you all for tuning in and we will catch you very, very soon with another exciting match in our Zelda Max Rando tournament. Bye. In, in how many hours from now on is this happening? It's uh, about two and a half. Okay, cool. Maybe I can watch it. I highly Ooh. doubt it, but maybe. Very late for you. <laughs>